a strong positive linear relationship. So I'm going to put write that down here. So this looks like a strong positive relationship. Strong positive relationship. Okay, so strong positive relationship. Um, so, um, so strong positive relationship. Um, sometimes you will hear people say a strong positive correlation. A lot of people out in the world use the word correlation like a relationship or an association. Um, a lot of statisticians kind of frown on that a little bit. Correlation is more of a number, a statistic that gets calculated to determine if there's, if there's a relationship. Um, but you could, I mean, some people do say strong positive correlation, right? I, I kind of lean more towards is there a linear relationship or a linear association? Just using a little bit better terminology. Okay, so this one looks like there is a linear relationship. It seems like it's a, it's a positive relationship. In other words, as temperature is getting higher, the profits are sending, tending. Uh, there's a, they see, if I look at all the days where the temperature was lower, those tend to have a little bit smaller profits and days when the temperature is higher I seem to have more a little more profit in those days don't be very careful though of saying cause and effect okay there's a very famous statement in statistics that relationships correlation is not causation just because you have two things that are related doesn't give you the right to say one causes the other I shouldn't say the only reason why their profits of their swimsuit store went up or down is just because of step temperature, right? That's actually a bad thing to say. Maybe they, maybe there's all kinds of reasons why their profits may go up or down, right? So maybe, uh, you know, weekends, maybe more people are shopping. Uh, could be, uh, maybe they've been advertising their swimsuits more. So that could, in, that could in, um, um, be a factor when you're talking about profits. So it's important just because two things are related, just because this graph shows a pot, strong positive linear relationship, doesn't give me the right to say temperature is causing the profits to go up. That's not what this actually tells you. It just tells you that there's, there is a relationship between the two variables and it is a positive relationship. Okay? Now, the question would be, well, how strong how strong a relationship is that, right? How strong a relationship is that? And it's very difficult, especially if you look at most scatter plots look like a big mess of dots. I mean, you could have a thousand dots on this scatter plot, and you're looking at it and you're going, I don't even know what that is, right? You can, ha you can have the computer draw the regression line for you, and you're kind of looking at it, you're like, okay, are the dots following the line? Are they not following the line? That kind of thing. Well, there's actually a very famous statistic that was cal that is calculated to tell you how well this relationship is functioning. It'll tell you if it's negative or positive. It'll also tell you if it's weak or strong. It could also tell you that there's no relationship at all. So that 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 uh, statistic is called the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient. So I put the the definition over here on the board over here. So. The correlation coefficient, or smaller case r, lower case r, is a number between negative 1 and positive 1 that measures the strength and the direction of the linear relationship between quantitative variables. All right? So it's going to tell me if it's positive or negative relationship and if it's uh, going, uh, if it's uh, strong or weak or moderate or no relationship at all. So it's a statistic that the computer calculates. It's a very difficult calculation. It takes a long time to calculate R's. I'm not going to actually even show you how it's calculated today. Uh, but it's more important that you can read it, that you understand what it's telling you. Like most things in stats, computers calculate, we interpret, right? We explain it to people. So the R, the correlation coefficient, is really an important number. If the R comes out negative, 
Usually that means you have the line is going down from left to right. It'll have a negative slope. This R value is actually tied to the slope of the line. Um, it'll have it'll have it'll be going down from left to right. Now that means you have sort of an indirect or inverse relationship. So as x is getting bigger, y is getting smaller. As x is getting smaller, y is getting bigger. If your R value comes out positive, you have a direct relationship like this one, where x as x is getting bigger, y is getting bigger. As x is getting smaller, y is getting smaller. Okay, so the sign of the R is very important. Is it negative or positive? Now, reading an R can be a very tricky. Um, you almost have to have a little bit of training to read it. But I put a little number line here, uh, down here, just so you can kind of get an idea. So, um, one of the things to look for, again, is you have to picture in your head what does the number line actually look like between negative 1 and 1 to actually figure out what R tells you. So, basically, the, the closer R gets to negative 1, usually like negative 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, any of those numbers, you have a pretty strong negative relationship. That means the line is going down from left to right and the computer feels that the points are very close. If you have a, a, your R value getting closer and closer to positive 1, that would be a strong positive correlation. So that would mean that the um, the uh, you like positive 0.6, positive 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, those are all strong positive. That means kind of like this one, the line is going up from left to right and it's the, the computer feels that the points are actually very close to the line. Uh, if you look at this one, it looks like uh, the R value was 0 0.9034 here. 9034, that got that off of Staccato. I, had st I put this data into Staccato and went to the correlation menu and had it calculated for me. Um, so 0.9034, now where is 0.9 on the number line? You can kind of see it's really way over here next to positive 1. It's very close to positive 1. That means it's a very strong positive correlation. Now the R gets close to 0. As you get close to 0, that means no correlation at all or, or, or no linear relationship at all. Some people will say no correlation. I kind of like to say no linear relationship. Uh, but if you have, if your R value goes to zero, or really close to zero, so if your R value almost looks like a P value, like your R value is like point, some point, uh, like, um, like point ones or point zero eight or point zero three, negative point zero five, those kind of numbers, numbers that are very close to zero on the number line, usually that means your line's not fitting this data at all. The data is really not fitting this line at all, and we probably shouldn't even be using this line to, to make predictions. This, these two variables have nothing in common. Like if I, if I looked at, uh, I don't know, uh, average snow levels in North Dakota during the winter, and the Los Angeles Dodgers uh, pitching ERA, um, and I try to, try to look at those, um, probably the R value is going to come out pretty close to zero because there doesn't seem to be any relationship between those variables. Okay, that's, that's kind of the idea. So when R comes close to zero, no relationship. And then you can have, usually, if you're kind of a little bit off from zero, like 0.2s, 0.3s, um, usually that's a weak positive or a weak negative if it's negative 0.2, negative 0.3s. Uh, if you're kind of in the middle between 0 and 1, that's usually referred to as moderate. So if you're like negative 0.4, you know, somewhere in that area, negative 0.5, you're kind of moderate negative. Positive 0.4, positive 0.5 is kind of a moderate positive. So this kind of gives you an idea of how to read the R value. So this is the R value here, the correlation coefficient. Okay? Now, let's look at a few other statistics here. So a few, the correlation and regression is a, uh, in some ways, some ways very complex. It does have a lot of statistics that we look at um, and a lot of analysis that goes into a correlation and regression study. Uh, there are statisticians and data scientists that actually specialize in this field, in quantitative relationships, correlation and regression. That's their specialty. 
So it does have a lot to it. So um, one of the numbers that R is kind of hard to read, you have to almost have a little bit of training to read R, but one number that we like to look at is R squared. See, R is not a percentage, but R squared is, is a percentage. Um, we actually has a very special name, sometimes people refer to it as the coefficient of determination, or you'll hear people just say R squared. So R squared is the percentage of variability in the Y that can be explained by the relationship with X. So always think of it as percentage of variability in the Y that can be explained by the relationship with X. So if I go back up here to our example, 0.9034 was my R. If I square that, remember you can put the, push the square button on your calculator or just multiply 0.9034 times 0.9034 and I get about 0.18, uh, sorry, 0.816 or about 81.6%. So uh, this would tell me that 80, about 81.6% of the variability in Y in swimsuit profits can be explained by the relationship with X, it can be explained by the relationship with temperature. Okay, that's how I would explain it. But it's also a little easier number to judge how strong a relationship you have. Now you do lose the negative positive because when you square something it's always positive. So you won't know, that's why it's always good to look at a scatter plot. You can kind of see if the line is going up or down. But it's a percentage and the higher that percentage gets, the stronger the relationship. So that's also a good number for people that aren't, you know, uh, maybe haven't had as much training with reading R. R squared is a little easier number. The higher that percentage gets, the stronger the relationship. So that's R squared. Um, another number that we like to um, figure out is, is sometimes called the uh, standard deviation of the residual errors. Now that's a very famous number. Uh, again, the computer will calculate it. These are all numbers that are pretty difficult to calculate on your own. Uh, you really want to use a computer to calculate. But let's get this idea of a residual. Um, this, again, is a, another advanced topic in correlation and regression. A residual just is the, the vertical distance each point uh, is from the scatter plot. So I look at each and every point. The computer will look at every single point.